Hello, everybody. It's very, very good to be with you. Uh, as many of you know, I'm recovering from uh, a surgery that I had in the end of January, back surgery. And that's doing really well. And uh, I hadn't cut a video in two months because of all of that. And uh, so we're kind of restarting the teaching on us, and on, 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 at least on, uh, on YouTube. And uh, so I thought I'd go back to some basics. I thought I'd go back to uh, some visual aids that I used to use. I don't use them much anymore, but occasionally I do, and they always have a good effect. I, I stopped using them because that's the way the teaching does. It, it uses something, and then it does it, and, um, and it moves on. And so I, I don't really need the visual aids so much to, to accomplish the same thing anymore. But man, they are effective. I hope you agree. Uh, so the very first one I ever did was about... Um, the, the, really, it's about the fogging process. I talk a lot about clearing, and clearing is the opposite of fogging. So we're going to, it's what clears out the fog. So I want to go in and look at the fog for just a minute before we look at clearing. And when we have an awakening, a glimpse even, when we have any kind of a glimpse, um, any sort of really keen insight that we know, oh, that really was, that penetrated or whatever, um, then the what we'll notice is that that doesn't last. And that, wow, there was a pop, but it was it just popped and popped right out of here. And so it's, I, it, it will feel like I had something, I lost something, and now I've got to get that something back. That's just the way it feels. And it will drive seekers crazy attempting to get that back. It drives them crazy to get to that point, except for the ones that are lucky and just woke up walk, walking down the street, but that's neither me nor you. So uh, let's go on with this. So as a general rule, we will wake up. There will be an awakening. I'm not saying we will wake up. I understand that uh, we don't know what we are yet. That there will be an awakening, meaning that uh, awareness becomes aware of itself um and uh and it also and, and and in that process we'll also see many through many other things and uh but that a pop it's just like it's like the sun I mean, like our whole out life was a cloud and then woof, and there's such clarity and it feels so good most of the time there's a there will be a physical response to it and there will be um uh, and and there will be a, certainly a this is it's a response to a spiritual situation, and uh, there can even be a physical response to it. So at any rate, let's let's. But now we talk about the other side of the sun, which is that the sun doesn't last; the sun goes away. And I want to talk about how that happens. So we're going to talk about clouding. So, uh, so you'll notice here that what I've got is I have a picture, oh, I'm, I have to take it out because I can't, we can't see it well with this particular light. Okay, so just pretend you can't see anything below the sun. So we wake up, it's fantastic. We can see clearly, we can see forever and we got, we boy, we got it now. And then what happens is, uh, because th it's, it's, this is something that's beyond thought. It's prior to thought. It's before thought. It's just beyond it. It doesn't have anything to do really with thought. And then guess what happens automatically and with our brains is that thoughts begin to arise. Thoughts arise. That's the one sure thing that we know about. There's two things. That's one is that uh, thoughts arise. We know that about them. And the second thing we know is that all of them are lies. <laughs> and that may take a while to get really get your head around, but uh, and it'll take more than just trying to get a head around because the head can't get around the head. Um, but at any rate, there is a moment, or it could be a long moment. It could be twenty minutes. It could be two seconds. It could be an hour. It could be. Um, it could be two weeks, but as a general rule, we're going to wake up. We're going to have more than one awakening experience, and we're probably, and whatever awakening experience it is that we experience, whether it's two weeks, two months, or two years, the or two minutes, or two seconds, it's all the same thing. 
it's not like one is the real thing and the other one are not the real things. They're all the real things. They're all the unveiling. And upon the unveiling, there is nothing else to see but truth. That's the reason it's so easy to spot. There's nothing else there. <laughs> There's truth and only truth, and that's that. But then these thoughts will begin to arise. These thoughts begin to arise. And as these thoughts arise, we will begin to, we we'll, we'll may notice like, and I'm just not as clear as I was a few minutes ago or yesterday. And uh, God, I hope this thing's not going away. How, how can I keep this? What can I do to keep this? Now, who's talking to you at that point is not the one who awoken, who uh, had an awakening. I don't know if awoken is proper or not, but uh, whatever it is, it is not that. And we can say that just for the sake of it, there's no Fred, but there's Fredness. Okay, there's no Fred here. You're not looking at a Fred. You're not listening to a Fred. There is no Fred Davis on planet Earth. At least not 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 this Fred Davis. There's not. There's this body is here, but it's not filled with a Fred Davis. <laughs> That's now spilling out. Uh -uh. There's no Fred Davis on that level. In other words, on the, the, the personality that comes through this, traits and everything will be, that's just part of conditioning. What comes out will be what I call Fredness, which is also conditioning. But these, uh, these con the, this conditioning, it's a, it's a matter of, really, it's a matter of references. And it's references to, to th other things whether they exist or not. It's just the mind does not care. It will reference something. Um, like, uh, here's, here's one. So does, uh, does the King of England, no, that's not one. Yeah, does, does the King of England uh, have to go before Congress every year? And the answer is no, there is no Congress in, in, in Britain, it's a parliament. So, but the first question, is does the king of England, and we just start thinking about England, and then we're thinking, yeah, 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 it's, it's, it goes somewhere. <clears throat> That's called a false reference. There's no nothing there, but we reference it anyway. The mind references it anyway. It's just automated. And it will reference it, and we will instantly believe it, because although whatever you say may be suspicious to, to me, Whatever you say to you is gospel. It's true. You won't even you won't even question it. So these thoughts come in, and it's like, how do I keep this? This is going away. Um, what's wrong? What's what's wrong with this picture? My bike is broken. My car is, needs work. I don't have enough money. That'll always come up. I don't have enough money. Uh, I don't have enough love. That'll typically come up too. Uh, we'll come up lacking. That's what this will happen, is that there is this there is this absolute clarity, and then there comes in these relative thoughts. And we begin to build a character around these thoughts, because there is the feeling, there is the sense, the sense that there is something in the middle of these clouds that's having these thoughts. But you can see there ain't nothing in the middle of these clouds. <laughs> What are these clouds? They're weather. What's the background of these clouds? Truth. But you can't see the truth of the clouds. And then when you went, so you've gone from this brightness to now you're, oh, you know, I, I, I don't want to lose this. What do I do? Blah, blah, blah. And then what do you, where do you end up? You end up in agony. And the agony that you're experiencing is at the hands of your own mind. Because the only thing that's wrong here is uh, there's nothing wrong here. So anything that feels wrong here is imagine you've imagined it. Like if you think um, Fred Davis is the bad guy, you're just imagining that because there is no Fred Davis. There's not there's not not a good one, not a bad one, not one at all. So these thoughts begin to arise, and we begin to believe them. Now, let's go over Fred's four uh, ignoble truths just for just a minute. Buddha had his four noble truths. I got my four ignoble truths, and here they are. Number one, we make stuff up. 
Number two, we begin to believe what we just made up. Number three is we begin to suffer because we're believing what we just made up. And number four is we come to spirituality to try to overcome the suffering that we're experiencing because we that uh, believing we're believing what we just made up. Duh. I mean, it seems like there should be some sort of shortcut there. I mean, that's pretty circular, isn't it? Of course it is. So we got to now we turn to clearing because now we've woken up. We have, I call this brightness because, you know, actually I can, I look at somebody and they're brighter or less bright. I mean, not all the time, but it can be. With I can watch an awakening, I can watch a being awaken and it will, you, and you could just see the light. I mean, it's literally like a light light, but it's, but it's not a weird thing. This is, this is not a mystical thing. It's just, you know, it could even just be in my head. Uh, that's what it feels like to me. So I call that state brightness. And we were in brightness, and then we've begun to believe thoughts, and now we are in what? We are in cloudiness. So now, because we're agonizing from the cloudiness, and we've lost our brightness, then how do we get how do we get back there is what it'll feel like. So I had that, I've lost that, and I got to get back there. That's exactly what it will feel like. Is that true? No. <laughs> But it doesn't matter because that's what it will feel like. So to clear, what do we mean? Well, when we wake up, when that brightness comes that we look, look when, like the sun over there, what that does is that knocks the lid off. Okay? That knocks the lid off the mind. But what I want you to notice is that the, the lid has been knocked off of this mind. There's been an awakening, but the mind is not clear. The mind is still full of conditioning. I'm gonna go through, through this like it doesn't take long, but it, you know, it, it starts. You can make a lot of progress very quickly if you're, if you're either very, very lucky or you're in the right set of hands. And um, and then and, and that, that's really what I spend most of my time doing is helping people clear because I wake them up the first time we meet. So if I didn't have a clearing program, I wouldn't have any program at all. I'd just be waking people up, which is I, that's what I did at first. And um, but you know it's just not worthwhile in the long term. So I mean it just it takes too much out. I'm too old and feeble now to be doing stuff like that. So what we do is is we um, we begin clearing. And what does clearing mean? It means that we have a thought. We're doing inquiry now. What empties the jar is non-dual inquiry. Like, um, you see me talking, but who are you? Who are you, really? You don't know. So you begin to question what you are, what's going on. We can just question everything, but you can do it with simple things. Like, um, so the mail just got here. Is that true or did I just hear a noise on the porch? And there was just a noise from, the, from the, the direction of the porch. And now, and the dog started barking and I just filled that in with the fact that the mailman was just here. And hell, it might've been the police. It might've been, a, it might've been somebody uh, collecting for something, whatever it might have been. It, it could be Halloween for all I know. But one way or the other, I tell a story, and, and, I, and in my mind, that's what happened. That's what's true. That doesn't mean it is true. It just means in my mind, that's what I think is true. So you see through fogginess or cloudiness because, you know, the weather has moved in now. There was clarity. Now there's bad weather. The weather moves out one cloud at a time. It'll move out one question at a time. And here's, here's an example. Well, we just really just did an example, which is there's a, something on the porch. Is that true? That's the inquiry. Just all you have to do. Is that true? And then shut up. Just be quiet. You know, in, in, in the Bible, it says, be still. 
and know that I am God. So let's start with being still. Okay, we've done a little inquiry, and now it looks like we're waiting for an answer, but we're not. What we are doing is we're noticing that there is no answer, right? Which is, uh, or or there isn't a there isn't a uh, there's no one there's no answer. -er. There may be a question, but there's no question her. Um, and there's no one, there's actually no one here. There's just this imaginary character. God, I can see this is getting all mixed up, but I'm, we're going to go through it. And I'm going to go through more of these too, because I might be leading in circles, but I'll just pull these things back up again in another one. You already know what we're talking about. Just follow all the videos. So this is, is that first thought, which was, there's uh, the, the mailman just came. Is it true? Well, yeah, I know it is. I hear it every day. Do you know that it's true? Well, no, but I can pretty well. Yeah, but you don't know it's true, do you? No. So, and you notice that you do not know what's on the porch. Can you acknowledge that? Okay, so I'm really talking about something I know nothing about. I can't know anything about it unless I go to the door. And uh, and I'm not getting up, so I'm just going to sit here and stew in ignorance. So then another question comes up, which is, you know what? I've discovered about this world as a, as a Fred Davis. I did it. I, this was my experience for 52 years. This sucks. <laughs> that was my experience for 52 years, is this sucked. And it just was a matter of it sucks a lot. Uh, or it doesn't suck quite so much, but it still sucks. Because why? Because there was something wrong here, always. Even if things were going my way perfectly, I would pop the thought, this ain't going to last forever, is it? And boo, just rained on that parade. So because I said, this is not going to act forever, uh, this is not going to last forever, and I immediately answered and said, no, it can't. But is that true? I don't know. I really don't. And can I say uh, uh, that I really know? Hell no, I don't. I can't say I really know. Really and truly know none of that. I can't say anything like that. The only thing I can say is experience tells me. But experience is not truth. It is an experience only. An experience is like a sense. There's a sense of something. Like there's a, there's a sense that there's a snake on the floor. And, uh, but I look down there and there's not, and I can relax. But I may not be able to completely relax just yet because I may, there's still a sense that he might have been down there and he might have gone somewhere else. By pretend, by, by pursuing inquiry, uh, this is, um, so this sucks. Can you tell me why it sucks? Yes, because there's something wrong here. This is what happens the minute after we had had identification. The next thought that will pop up, the first thought that will pop up is, and there's something wrong here. All right, there's a Fred Davis here, and, and you can't be a Fred Davis here unless there's something wrong. Because in the absence of something wrong, where's Fred Davis? In the absence of something wrong right now, what are you? In the absence of resistance to the content of this moment, who are you? Where are you? And more to the point, are you? Are you even there? So we penetrate as far as we can, and then we stop, and we go on to the next thing. The next time thing might be... Um, so the, uh, I saw that the dollar went down. Oh, is that good or bad for Fred? All comes up, is that good or bad for Fred? And there will be a judgment made. That's good for Fred. Oh, wonderful. That's bad for Fred. Oh, God, I knew it. This sucks. But either way, there's identification. There's either comfort or discomfort. There's pain or, or, or there's pleasure. To identify with either one is to identify with it. There's somebody there that's happy or unhappy. And what I'm telling you is what these what these units are. You are the body is not you. 
what you are is prior to this body. It's prior to language, it's prior to thought, it's just prior. And when we look at these clouds, that's what we're suffering from is the thoughts. And so as we begin to clear the thoughts out and see that they're, wow, there's nobody there that's unhappy. That's what we eventually will see is that it may, may see it uh, quickly, but we'll need to re-see it. So there's, we come to, we go to through inquiry until we reach, and that's what we're really going down for. We're not looking for an answer to these questions. We're looking for the pause. We're looking for the being still that naturally occurs at the end of inquiry. Okay, so this is already, video is already twice as long, four times as long as I hoped it would be, twice as long as I thought it would be. And so I can go ahead and end it now. There are gonna be more in this series. Also, in, let, let you know, there um, coming up is Skillful Means number nine, which had got put off because of my surgery. Um, and there is also, uh, um, there, there, there are different courses and stuff that we have now that you can find all about on awakeningclaritynow.com. Please go to the website. People from YouTube write me and they say, do you really, do you have a website? And it's like, yes, yes, you might notice that it's awakeningclaritynow.com. But at any rate, people get confused. So don't you get confused. Go to awakeningclaritynow.com and see what grabs your leg and follow that. I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye. It's great to be back.